girls and boys, hi, how are you? So today's video is actually inspired by an Instagram photo. Now I might sound a little crazy, but it's true. I posted this photo on Instagram and... Let me just say, okay, I did not expect the kind of response that it got. This bitch was taken back. First of all, thank you. And secondly, the hair and makeup. You guys wanted the deets on, you wanted the teeth. Honestly, this is just like my go-to everyday hair and makeup. This is like my safe zone. The makeup is really simple to do. It's all about kind of lashes, faux freckles, glowy skin. We've got that coverage, but she is summer proof as well, which is of course exactly what we need. We need something that's not gonna melt off our face in 0 0.2 seconds. And the hair, oh my God. Okay, the hair I've been obsessed with because this can literally last in my hair for like three, four days and I don't have to worry about doing it. Lazy girl. Let me just say real quick, um, just because I know the internet is a little bit of a sensitive place. I know this isn't gonna be everybody's cup of tea. Like not everyone wants to wear this much makeup on an everyday basis. I get it, it's your face. Listen, you do whatever the hell you want. I'm just showing you what I like to wear and what I do with my face, you know, so many people asked. So for those of you who like to wear a little bit of makeup, this probably isn't gonna be for you. But for people who, when they wear makeup, they wanna wear makeup, then. Hey. Let's just get into this. My easy everyday glam summer look get rid of me, makeup, hair. Yeah, let's just do it. <laughs> I mean, I just look as fucking crazy as ever. <laughs> let's just get to it. Let's get started. I, I do brows first. Okay, this is like totally new to me. I have never been that girl. I've never been the bitch to do her brows first, right? Honestly, the thought of having to like go around them gave me like the biggest anxiety <laughs> ever because I just knew right deep down, okay? That, and my brow was gonna go from like, mm, to like, Mm. But apparently doing them first has been my thing. It's been my jam. I've actually been using a different product as well. Benefit Cabral. The pomade's making a comeback. I use shade four, by the way. This is actually one darker than I normally go for, but I've been loving the bold brow, apparently. Apparently. <laughs> Spoolie hair through, get the hairs kind of where I want them. I'm going to take a minimal amount of product, you know, just a little... Tap, tap. And then we're gonna start to draw out the shape. So I go along the top of my brow first, extend the tail, go underneath, and then I kind of start to fill it in a little bit. For the front of the brow, I literally use whatever excess product is on the brush, kind of just flick that through to get that softer beginning. Spoolie it through as well, just to soften everything. Do you know why I also love Cabral as well? This ish does not budge. I am telling you, she, when she's on, She's on. Now, of course, I'm just gonna go ahead and take my concealer to clean her up a little. I like to use a bit more of a full coverage concealer and a little bit lighter. That way I really clean it up and I highlight at the same time. L14, no, it's it's actually, where did I get 14 from? It literally says 16. L16 hour camera concealer in the shade light beige. Grab a little bit on my brush and go to town. I only carve out the like bottom of my brow, not the top, because I don't want her to look too like. And then, where is, <laughs> got it. My fave eyebrow gel. This is the Benefit 24 hour brow setter in. It, that's all it is. <laughs> it's just a translucent gel. This is so fab, you guys. It not only will keep my eyebrows like set down for the whole day, but it also helps to place the brow hairs exactly where I want them. And it brings back the more like realistic hair as well. So they don't look overly filled in or anything like that. I feel like this is genuinely a vital step to my brows. I can't like not do this step. I feel a little naked without it. And that is her on. She's done. I mean, I've got to do her sister over here, but once she's done, we can move on to skin. Face makeup is genuinely my favorite part of my routine. I just find it so like satisfying. Hello? <laughs> yeah, what do you want? What do you want? I want snow. I know, I'm actually mid-filming as well, so. Oh, yeah? Yeah. This is like your first appearance on camera, but like through the phone. I feel like I'm there with you. Yeah, you you really are. I really am. I, you really are. <laughs> okay, right, I'll see you later. Love you, bye. Love you, bye, bye. Before I do anything, just take these these feel a little bit disgusting, but they they work a treat. I actually used these in my last makeup video as well. They're the Pixie Detoxify De Depuffing Eye Patches. I love these. Okay, now primer. I switch up my primers all the time, to be honest. They're not like completely vital. The only thing I ever want for my primer for every day is something to cover up these pores a little bit. The primer that I've been loving at the moment is the Body Shop All-in-One 
Instablur. Honestly, this is kind of like a drugstore version of Professional. I go ahead and just push this product into my T-zone, the places where, you know, your pores are more visible. This also just kind of like smooths out my skin and preps it for the foundation. Bound full edition. For me, no matter what kind of time it is, I'm always going to be a full coverage gal. Okay. I just believe in all or nothing. You're either gonna see me with makeup on, like if I'm gonna wear makeup, I'm gonna wear makeup, or you're gonna see me with like literally nothing. I've been really, really into mixing my foundations, creating like my own little cocktail, if you feel me. Just because then I really feel like I can get exactly what I want. You know what I mean? Because sometimes I'm like, oh, I love this foundation, but I wish, blah, blah, blah. So by mixing, I, I do that. I have been loving my NARS all day radiant, no, what? <laughs> Natural radiant long wear foundation. I have been loving her. She's a good one. But honestly, these drugstore foundations are just as good. They're more affordable, especially, I mean, I don't wear makeup every single day, but when you use it a lot, it's, it just works out more cheaper, okay? My bank account doesn't scream at me as much. I mix. The Maybelline Superstay 24 hour full coverage foundation in warm sun. This one has fab coverage. It looks really, really nice on the skin as well. It has that like nice satin kind of finish. Holds up fab too, which is even better. And then I mix in a little bit of the NYX Can't Stop Won't Stop full coverage foundation. This is in, what are you in? What are you in? Classic tan. This little guy, okay. This is probably even more full coverage. This is more matte as well. And it holds up even more. So it's like this, but like, on steroids. I only mix in a little bit of this because I actually prefer the way the Maybelline looks on my skin, but this gives me that like summer lasting heat proof, heat proof? <laughs> um, this is not like a cooking show. Um, little square to you and let's squirt. I'm just gonna start to press that into my skin with my beauty blender. I do love my beauty blender for this because I feel like it really kind of marries the product into your skin the best. I love this combo. I feel like it covers everything so well. Like I've got some breakouts at the moment because um, Aunt Flo's about. Summer skin's, you know, it's having a little moment. It's having a little tantrum, but it doesn't look cakey or heavy or nasty, you know? Well, I mean like a skin like as full coverage can look, if you know what I mean. It's, it's just, I just love it. It's just what I do. I'm bouncing so fast right now. <laughs> I'm just taking a second though to go over my entire face and just really press everything in. Cause I feel like, you know, your base is important. Right oh, Joe, think. I think we're Gucci. To do a little bit of concealing and highlighting now, I'm gonna use my Makeup Revolution Conceal and Define. This is in the color C6. Just gonna pop a little bit underneath my eyes, chin, cupid's bow, nose, forehead, the usual. Then blend her in with my sponge. I really love this concealer because I feel like it has enough coverage that it does what a concealer should be doing, but it's not that full coverage matte, like, cement glue for your face because obviously we have got that full coverage kind of foundation underneath we don't really we don't really need it you know we just need a little something to make us look a little more alive under there and that concealer is literally like what is it like four pounds sorry beautiful got foundation everywhere okay this step is totally something you really don't need to do but i can do it in literally like 0 0.2 seconds we're doing a little bit of like cream bronzing contouring you know the drill this is the Too faced born this way multi-use sculpting concealer in toffee i just love the way this looks on my skin i think it looks a lot more natural because it is a cream product so it kind of just melts in i feel like i use less like bronzer less powders and stuff so everything just looks a little bit more natural in my opinion anyway I feel like this step always looks really harsh on camera, but in real life, I, it, I'm, it's blended, okay? <laughs> and it's done, complete. Where did my sponge go? Now, if you have oily skin like me, you will know that a powder is just like a vital, a vital step, especially when it's hot outside. It just, you know, it has to be done. We, we can't, we can't beat around the bush here. I've been loving this. This is the Kat Von D Lock It Setting Powder. This is the translucent one. This stuff though really does just mattify everything. Keeps everything from getting sweaty throughout the day. <laughs> I mean, it does what it says on the tin. It really just locks everything in. Oh, I've also been loving this technique of using my beauty blender to really press the powder in. I feel like this way, everything looks way more smooth and less like dry. It's summertime, you know? I still want that glow, you know? We don't want to look like a chalkboard. I will though just switch over to a brush for my cheek area just because it is a whole lot quicker to be honest. Wow, okay, this product, ever since I received this, game changer. The original Benefit Hula, ding wrong, I love it. I actually use that to like contour my nose. But this is Jordan Lipscomb, and we all know that 
I, I have to have that warmth warmth in my bronzer. <laughs> Benefit have only gone and done a bloody warmer hula, haven't they? It's called hula caramel. <laughs> I feel like a proud mum. It's like hula's gone and had some babies and it's just like the best thing ever. I just dab it in. I do tap some off as well because um, she's pigmented. And I'm just gonna start to warm up my skin. Popping that in the usual places. So my kind of cheek area, forehead, bringing it down to my jawline. Well, this side of my face seems to be blending so much better than this side today. What is going on? Just some mornings I wake up and apparently I can like somewhat do makeup and other times it just, my arms do not want to function. <laughs> Time for blush. I'm obsessed with it all over again. You guys know this. A really good drugstore one is L'Oreal Life's a Ple Pleach. Life's a pleach. <laughs> Life's a peach skin awakening blush. This color is perfect. Is that like perfect peach? It just suits like every makeup look. But honestly, at the moment, I have just been loving a, more of a glow to my cheek. So I've brought back out my Benefit California. This, oh, this blush is beautiful. It's more on the pinker side, but it has a more of like a gold reflex to it. So when it's on the skin, it looks beautiful. I don't know if you guys can see, but now this area of my cheek has a little bit more of a glow to it. So everything in the end will just look nice and glowy. Can we see that? Can we see that? I'm hoping the camera is picking it up. How beautiful this blush really is. Glow. I know I showed this in my last makeup video, but keeping it real, this is genuinely what I use on my face. So meh. So we're whipping her out. Okay. She's coming back out. The Beauty Bay Living My Best Light Highlight Palette. This is the Brilliance one. Creds where creds is due. This is beautiful. Like it, it, their formula is fab. It looks wet on the skin, first of all. And I love the colors as well. I take Charmed, which is this one here. I use the technique of taking on a bigger brush like this, first of all, and just applying it to my cheekbones. I'm really kind of focusing on buffing it into the skin. Just so when we put on a little bit more in a sec, it doesn't look like a strip. It looks it's all part of my skin. Look at her go, or should I say glow? <laughs> How I like to wear my highlighter is I like, no matter where you're like, you are on me, <laughs> I like you to be able to see my highlighter. So no matter what angle it is, I like there to be like a glow. So taking this little eyeshadow brush, dip back into Charmed, and I'm gonna smile. <laughs> and I'm just gonna apply this sort of highlighter right here to this apple part of my cheek, just in a little circle, and bam. There she is. So when I'm forward, you can see her. When I'm sideways, you can see her. This is just how I like my highlighter to be. Then I'm gonna go ahead and repeat the exact same thing to the other side. And then because I like the appearance of like that all over glow, a little bit more on the brush here above the brows. So now everywhere looks glowy. We've brought back the glow. This is honestly the technique that I love for my skin, like mattifying everywhere, but using powder highlight to bring the like wet kind of glow back. That's how my makeup will last so long because I've set everything, everything's like more matte and then you just bring it back with powder highlighter. Easy peasy lemon. Squeeze it. Nose contour. I, I don't think I could do my makeup routine without contouring my nose now. I genuinely didn't care that much before, like keeping it real. <laughs> I do like my nose, but now that I've seen it contoured, once you contour your nose, you never go back. I take the original Hula Benefit to do this. Um, and then I use a brush that's like fluffy. So it still has that like blendability, but it's like nice and thin. So you can get the lines too. Take a teeny bit on the brush and then tap off the excess. Starting from like the top of my nose and underneath my brow, that's where I start. And then I'm just gonna start to bring it down. And I kind of build up the color as I go. And you can see already that line kind of starting to form. I keep building it up, but very slowly though, so obviously you don't end up with like two stripes. The closer the lines are, the more like pinched your nose is gonna look. I wanna look like I can't breathe, so. <laughs> I just make sure that I'm placing color down, but blending it out as well, just so it does look as like natural as I can make it. Then to finish it off, take a little bit more and I put it across like this. And this is gonna like lift up the end. A little pinos <laughs> completely has changed the shape. It makes this bit look more round and then it's thin. And then of course, we just want to give her a little bit of highlight as well. So back in with the Bibe palette, the tip of my nose and a little bit down the bridge too. Onto the eyes now. So I'm one of those girls that I do like to add a little bit of color, but I do want something like quick. We can smoke out and go. So she's making an appearance. It's been a while. This is one of my palettes that I created with Beauty Bay. This is the Onyx palette. So this is like the smoky eye one. I have had so many people say to me, George, why don't you ever use like your palettes on your channel? Like, 
what's, what's the tea here? And guys, there is none. I just don't want to literally shove these down your throat. And plus, I'm pretty sure they're not available anymore. I'm pretty sure they're all sold out. They're gone. But I know a bunch of you managed to get your hands on them. I... Thank you. So this is what she looks like. To me, this is like the perfect smoky eye with a pop of color palette. I'm actually just gonna start with the color Fawn just to set my lids. Okay, now I'm gonna go ahead and mix together the color Henna and, no, Amber and Henna. <laughs> wow. This is dead simple, okay guys? There is no crazy technique here. Whack it onto the lid, blend that color out, and then just start to buff into the grease. It's so simple. I made these palettes as well for the everyday use. You know, you can get creative and crazy with them, or you can be like me, dab in, literally whack on, blend in the crease, and like, bam, you know what I'm saying? When I'm not filming, honestly, I can whack this on so freaking quick, and I have like an instant, easy, grungy kind of eye. Gonna blend them colors underneath my eye too, just to add a little bit more drama, just a little. I actually feel like today I've gone a little bit, a little bit darker than I normally have, okay. So this is a dramatic kind of day. I love, 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 love these two colors mixed together. It's the perfect in between of like warmth and cool. Time for a, a little bit of eyeliner. Now I would say if you are just a mascara kind of gal or boy, cool, don't, I wouldn't even bother doing this step. I would just whack on some mascara and the eyes are done, like complete. But I am a lash girl. I actually find putting on lashes now quicker than putting on mascara, which sounds crazy but it's true. So I just want to line my lash line real quick. This eyeliner, I have never use an eyeliner in my life that I can apply as quickly as this. My dog just literally like, I can hear her. The Too Faced Better Than Sex Easy Glide Waterproof Liquid Eyeliner. This was sent from the gods like Jesus. Thank you. It's the best, honestly. It's jet black, it dries matte, which is my favorite look for eyeliner. So, so, so easy to apply, and it doesn't run out when you're using it either, which is even better, because some pen eyeliners can do that. Oh, 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 where are you? Gotcha. I put on the quickest coat of mascara you've probably ever seen in your life, to be honest. This one is my favorite, though, Maybelline Lash Sensational. This is the best mascara in the entire world. Rude. <laughs> I just put on enough so my lashes look black and then we're good. I'm, I'm covering them up with some falsies anyway. So like the lashes I'm gonna use guys, these are beautiful. These may even be like my all time favorite lashes that I've ever put on my eyeballs, ever. These are by Unicorn Cosmetics and they're in the style Lemon Meringue. They are just the perfect lash. They have that wispiness, the separation, the fluffiness, the length. I mean, I know it's not all about length, but I mean, come on. You know when, um, oh, this is your lash glue, by the way. You know when that lash just adds the perfect amount of like drama and lash? Easiest way I apply my lashes, of course, wait for the glue to go tacky first, but grab it from the middle, apply uh, the middle first, like that. And then grab the outer corner and apply her. Grab the inner corner and apply her. And bam, lash is on. Like, bitch, honestly, I can't do. These actually remind me of uh, Lily Lashes Miami, which again, are another favorite of mine. But I think these might be a little bit cheaper. The difference that a lash makes though, like it's actually a little bit crazy. <laughs> Time to do the faux freckles. This was, ever since that picture come out, this is what you guys really wanted to see. I just use eyeshadow for my faux freckles because I think powder looks the most natural and when you blend it out, they blend out more natural, you know? So because I have my palette out here already, because obviously I used it, I'm gonna take Henna, which is this brown shade here on a little, like tiny little detail brush. Super, super easy. I just start to pop little freckles on my skin. Now some I do with a lot of pressure and then some I go really lightly so that the freckle will be really faint. Cause I've seen freckles aren't perfect. They're not all like perfect dots. And I kind of put some in little clumps. I spread some out. I keep all my freckles in my kind of nose area. That's just where I like mine to be. But just don't think about it too much guys. Just, just go in. I am having the biggest period pain of my life right now. And I genuinely feel like my insides are burning. Oh my God. It's like I'm giving birth. <laughs> Probably feels like I am. It's my giving birth to my organs. Then real quick, what I like to do, I feel like this adds to the naturalness. That's the kind of vibe we're going for. Pounce over the top, kind of dulls them all back down. And then 
now they're all a bit more fainter a little bit more product and go back in and just make some of them only a few a little bit darker and this is the kind of faux freckle look they have going on right now yeah we did it sometimes i'll take a little bit of blush and just pop them over the top of the freckles just if i'm feeling a little fancy we are on to the last step you guys lips this is I'm gonna put it out there. This is my all-time favorite nude lip ever. Drugstore combo as well. Listen, you can just thank me later. But no, for real, I start off with the NYX lip liner in nude truffle. This is this is like a like a light brown, I'd say. This color is the perfect brown. I feel like it's light enough that it will blend in nicely with my lip color, but it's dark enough that it still gives me that definition, which is fab because it will make my lips look a little bit bigger. I do overline my lips a teeny bit. I don't overline my bottom lip, but I overline my top a little bit. I just overline just by the cupid's bow. The sides, make sure you join up to your natural lip line. If you just overline from here to about here, I'd say you're good. If you're a regular on the channel, you're gonna know probably what my nude lip color is because I use it all the time. It's just my fave. The NYX Soft Matte Lip Cream in London. This is the best nude color of life. Just my perfect nude. I also really love the formula of these. They're that comfortable matte and they last really well on the lips. Now we just have to let her dry. While she's drying there, I'm actually gonna go in and set my face with my M Decay All Nighter. This is the best setting spray ever. So, I mean, why chase something that doesn't need to be fixed? I just drown myself in this stuff, by the way. And then to finish the lip off, I just take a teeny bit of my concealer, just right in the center. Stuff it with my finger just to give it like a, a bit more it makes my lips look a little bit more plump as well but it just gives it a little bit more kind of dimension and that is literally it that is my everyday makeup look done this 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 is this was this yesterday's hair this is literally how i woke up like <laughs> the bun's a little bit sad look <laughs> but this half up half down bun this is literally how i've been wearing my hair. So, even though my hair is pretty much in the style just from wearing it yesterday, and if I wasn't showing you guys what I do, I would generally just shove some dry shampoo in and redo the bun and go. <laughs> so let's just imagine my hair is straight, okay? I just section off above my ears, tie her up. I use my Mark Hill Pick and Mix wand. This is the small barrel, my favorite. Brush her through with my Tangle Teaser, my all-time favorite hairbrush. I can't use anything else. They all hurt my head. <laughs> I grab a decent sized chunk of hair. I wrap her around as flat as I can get her and I leave the ends out. I don't know if you can see, but I'm leaving out the ends. Hold it for a few seconds, let her go and bam. You have this little like wavy type curl. Grab another section, wrap her around, leave the ends out, let her go. The more kind of imperfect and wavy the curls are, the better. I also do some towards my face as well, just to break up the curls even more and give us more volume at the end. I don't want to bore you guys too much because it's honestly really, really easy to do, but I just repeat that all over my entire head. I'm just going to zoom through this. Okay, we're all curled. Looking like something from the 1950s. <laughs> Grab my fingers and I'm just going to run them through. Just kind of break the curls up. I also give it a brush as well because I feel like it expands my hair but like in a nice way, kind of fluffs it up. Just want to add in something to kind of give them a little bit more texture, a little something, you know? So this is the L'Oreal Stylista hashtag curls. This is the curl tonic. This gives shape, bounce and shine. I spray it into my hands. I don't like applying it directly because I feel like it's just a little bit too much. And I just scrunch, scrunch it into the curls. Hit the back as well. Make sure we get everywhere. This stuff smells amazing as well. I smell like a tutti fruity. The last product I'm just gonna spray. In. If you have blonde hair and you like your hair to be like blonde, you are gonna love this product so much. This is the way Son of a Beach Ombre Spray. This basically, this stuff. When you're in the sun, this stuff will actually help your hair to go blonder. It's magic in a bottle. Listen, this shit would appear in Harry Potter, I'm telling you. The actual hairstyle now. So this was actually so inspired by my really, really good friend, Gina. She's oh my G on Instagram. I saw her do this hairstyle and I loved it. So I put it on my head. I have no idea how she did it, but I'm just kind of, this is just kind of how I do it. So I start by separating out some like fringe bits, just like this. From like my eyebrows up, I'd say, I grab a chunk of hair. I don't go too far back with it either because I want a lot of hair down because obviously I want that volume. You just tie around. But on the last time you pull your hair halfway through, just like that. I look like a actual living Teletubby right now. I'm gonna pull out at the base 
to give this bit a bit of volume. Play around with the band to get it looking however you want it to look. For me, the messier and more like undone it is, the better. And then this hair that's left down to keep it looking big. I take my Tangle Teaser teasing brush. This is the best thing ever, okay? I'm just gonna grab a section, give it a little tease from the root. Little spritz of hairspray. And then you can kind of see already, like, you get that volume. The good thing about this teasing comb as well is it doesn't damage your hair, like, when it teases. Final little spritz of hairspray. And guys, we're done. This is the hairstyle. This is the completed look. This is my fave thing at the moment. I really hope you guys enjoyed. As per usual, I will list all the products and colors of everything that I have in the description box below. So check that out for like easy knowledge. I'm pretty sure that's everything, is everything? I think so. If you enjoyed, don't forget to smash the thumbs up button, subscribe before you go to, um, and hit that little bell so you don't miss an upload. Thank you guys so much for taking the time to watch this video. I love every single one of you so, so much, and I'll see you all very, very soon with a brand new video. Stay cool guys, stay cool. <laughs>